you mentioned fruit. Is that a different type of sugar? Does the body recognize that different? Or is it the same as, you know, what you get in, in table sugar? Well, you know, it, it's some forms of sugar are processed different in the body. Okay. For instance, we're finding out now that a lot of people are having these, they have fatty livers, but it's not due to alcohol. Um, it's actually due to these processed sugars like high fructose corn syrup and how it's regulated and how it's modulated and broken down in the human body, and the liver does a lot of that work. So that's the process of it. But if we just look at sugar, the body really doesn't know what's coming into it. So you can give it an apple, you can give it some juice uh, from, from orange juice, your sugar in the body is going to go up. The thing that's different is that if you're eating fruit, what else am I getting out of the fruit? So if you can add pectin to it, that's why apples and pears are usually pretty good because you have fiber. With that mm -hmm. fiber, the blood sugar won't go up quite as high. And every piece of fruit is different as far as the glycemic index. How, how fast your blood sugar is going to rise when you eat that piece of fruit. Sure. You eat a spotted banana, you know, the banana with all the brown spots on it, blood sugar goes up right away. But if you uh -huh. eat a green tip banana, it doesn't have as much sugar in it. It's more firm, so mm -hmm. the body will not react as adversely to that banana versus the one with the spots on it. Um, so, you know, you look at fruit, eat fruit that has pectin on it, or fiber, and then have some fruit that has obviously some antioxidants, high in antioxidants. That's why berries are great. You know, years ago, I'm talking hundreds of years ago, fruit wasn't sweet. It was very tart. Some of them were sour. Mm -hmm. So the food has changed completely. 